Tonight, we know a sailor was found dead in the barracks, and sources tell town on your side it appears he killed himself. But the warning that blared across the base mentioned an active shooter. And after the murder on the USS Mahan just two weeks ago and Fort Hood last week, those were terrifying words. The entire lockdown lasted just 15 minutes, long enough to create panic until the all clear was issued. Naval Support Activity Portsmouth Annex is just down the street from our studios. And 10 on your sides, Ann McNamara was at the scene just after that warning went out. So, Ann, Walk us through what happened. Well, at this hour, Navy officials are not releasing the name of that sailor that they found dead in the NSA barracks here just behind us. And they also have not said if that sailor is a man or a woman. We don't know if the sailor was shot, but we do know a report for gunshots is what set off that base wide alert. They said cold white. They said cold white. Mm -hmm. Not sure. This is not a drill. A code white announcement came over the loudspeaker. Code white meaning active shooter on base. Inside Naval Medical Center Portsmouth, witnesses told us they locked doors, turned off lights, stayed in rooms to hide. Well, at the time I was doing a floor and they just told me to stay inside the ward and I, you know, not, not to go out, just stay inside the ward. You know, it was a, like a lockdown. Did people seem afraid? Yes, yeah, some, yes. Yes. The trouble started around 9.30 this morning when base security got a call from the NSA barracks, a report of gunshots. That call is what prompted the code white alert. It was scary afterward because they told us what it meant. Yeah, I was nervous because this is the first time I ever experienced something like that. Yeah. You worked here a while? Yeah, I've been here uh, uh, 14 years. And in the chaos, a gruesome discovery. A sailor who didn't report for work found dead in a barracks room. A source sent tenure side this picture of Navy investigators at the building. Sources tell us this was a suicide, but the Navy has not confirmed if that is the case. Police stopped at the base gates after they reopened, but did not stay long. The Navy tells us everything is back to business as usual, but for some who work here, the fear of a shooting hasn't gone away. I just leave it in God's hands, and hopefully I'm not one of the, one of the people to get shot at. And scary to think that could even be a possibility. Now, a lot of people were asking uh, any different procedures, any increased security here because of that active shooter alert this morning. The Navy assured me there was not. They said business as usual means exactly uh, what it says it means. They did not make any changes today. Of course, NCIS is still investigating this case. Live in Portsmouth, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. Now, you may be familiar with the Naval Hospital, but not realize there's a lot more on the Medical Center's campus. Turn to your side, Stephanie Harris takes a closer look now. Steph? Yeah, Nicole, the hospital is actually a tenant on the property, which is all under the command of Naval Support Activity. There are also two ways in and out. Now, the main entrance is down here on uh, Effingham Street. There's another entrance right up there on Barton Street. Now, the hospital buildings, as you can see, the main hospital building here, there are several other buildings surrounding it. The barracks are over here. It's about two blocks away from that main hospital building. Now the barracks is a cluster actually of several buildings and it's where bachelor sailors live. Usually it's young sailors working in the hospital who live here. The NAS or NSA, excuse me, Annex also has a 24 hour daycare on these grounds. It has uh, for them hospital staff and shipyard workers to use as well as a gym. It has a federal fire department and also a small Navy exchange. Nicole. Stephanie, thank you. As we mentioned, this is the second active shooter call to go out on a Navy base in the area in a matter of weeks. Last week, investigative reporter Chris Horn looked into weapons policies on military installations. State-issued concealed weapons permits are not recognized on any naval installation. However, sailors and civilians should carry a card, proving they are authorized to carry their gun. Also, all personal firearms have to be stored in the installation's armory. They must be unloaded and secured. We posted all this information, including more on today's events, on wavy.com.